Some American cities are more dangerous than others, whether due to low income rates, homelessness, or a variety of other factors. Join Vucation as we take a look at the most dangerous cities in America as of 2023. Monroe, Louisiana The first and most dangerous city we'll take a look at is Monroe, Louisiana. It has a shockingly high rate of crime, with an average of 26.3 crimes per 1,000 people committed annually. While walking the streets of Monroe, people have a 1 in 38 chance of being the victim of a violent crime at any time. This equates to a nearly 3% chance of a violent encounter. While this might not seem like much at first glance, consider how much your chances will increase if you're walking the streets multiple times a day. These statistics place Monroe far above the national average in terms of crime, making it a very dangerous city. Saginaw, Michigan Saginaw, Michigan often gets overlooked due to the fact that a much more popular and nearly as dangerous city exists within its midst. While Detroit may be more notorious for crime than Saginaw, Saginaw is actually the Michigan city with the higher crime rate. 25.1 crimes are committed annually per 1,000 people in Saginaw. That means you have a 1 in 39 chance of a violent encounter. One of the reasons Saginaw gets a free pass while Detroit is ridiculed, despite being more dangerous, is that Saginaw has a much smaller population. Saginaw is relatively small and secluded, and it's actually somewhat of a wilderness destination due to its natural sights. Sadly, attempting to see them will put any tourist at risk of a potential violent attack from the locals. Often you'll find the crime of choice in tourist traps is simple robbery. However, the crime that Saginaw seems to be known for the most is murder. When you get attacked in Saginaw, there's a good chance you won't walk away. Memphis, Tennessee Memphis is often seen as the darker and seedier underbelly of Nashville. Both cities are known for their bustling music industries with an emphasis on country and blues. If you're a Nashville star and you feel you've lost some of your grit, there's a good chance you'll be able to find it in Memphis. There's a reason the city is considered seedier than Nashville, and that's because it is. Memphis ranks much higher in terms of crime, with 25.1 crimes committed annually in the city per 1,000 people. As with Saginaw, there's a 1 in 39 or roughly 3% chance of being the victim of a violent crime at any given time in Memphis. If you're looking to visit the city because you've got a passion for the blues, you're liable to find a lot you enjoy. The nightlife is always bustling in Memphis, and visitors rarely get bored. The only problem is you're going to have a pretty high chance of being assaulted. Detroit, Michigan Saginaw may be the more dangerous Michigan city overall, but that doesn't mean Detroit isn't worth a mention. The tragedy of Detroit is there's so much that's great about the city, yet so much wrong with it at the same time. Since the Industrial Revolution, Detroit has made a name for itself as one of the most hardworking cities in the country. But in recent years, this reputation is slowly being superseded by the much more glaring reputation of being one of America's most dangerous cities. There are 23 crimes committed in Detroit annually per 1,000 people, which is a 1 in 43 chance of being the victim of a violent encounter. This equates to just over 2%. It may not be the most dangerous city in the country, but it's plenty dangerous. Little Rock, Arkansas Little Rock is the capital of Arkansas and can be found sitting along the Arkansas River. Given these factors, it's a shame for the state that Little Rock isn't a much safer place to visit. In terms of crime statistics, Little Rock is a capital city that gives its state a pretty bad name. There are 20.2 crimes committed annually per 1,000 people, and there's a 1 in 49 chance of being the victim of a violent attack, equating almost exactly to 2%. If you can stomach the chance of crime being committed against you, then Little Rock has quite a bit to offer in terms of natural sights. As we've mentioned, tourist traps can be notorious for theft. This is the case in Little Rock, where locals can often be found trying to get the upper hand on visitors for a little profit. The poverty rate in Little Rock is ironic when you consider the city is known as the home of the only diamond mine in America. Other great things you can find while visiting include the city's hot springs as well as its lakes. Cleveland, Ohio Cleveland is another city where the high crime rate is a particular shame. Cleveland may not be the capital of Ohio, but it's certainly one of the state's main cultural hotspots. There's plenty to enjoy in Cleveland, including the music, the museums, and the Polish hot dogs. However, getting the chance to enjoy any of these things is also going to put you at significant risk of being victim of a crime. 
17.1 crimes occur annually in Cleveland per 1,000 people. So there's a 1 in 58 chance of having a crime committed against you. This equates to just fewer than 2%, a slight improvement over the previous cities we've covered. Baltimore, Maryland like Cleveland, Baltimore may not be a capital city, but it's an incredibly important one to its state. It's one of the most popular cities in Maryland and also one of the most dangerous. If you want to brave the risk of a violent encounter to consume one of Baltimore's signature crab cakes, more power to you. Just remember there's a 1 in 63 chance that you'll be the victim of a violent crime. 15.6 crimes occur annually per 1,000 people, making it another of America's most violent cities. The city made a record for homicides in 2022, with 179 murders being committed during the first half of the year. It seems things are only getting worse and worse here. Springfield, Missouri Missouri features the most violent Springfield in the nation by far, with 15.6 crimes being committed annually per 1,000 people. There's a 1 in 64, or halfway between 1 and 2 percent, chance of being the victim of a crime when you're here. Springfield has a few things to offer, including museums and aquariums. Sadly, you're liable to face theft while visiting. Rockford, Illinois Rockford is another of the handful of cities on the list that offers up some staggering natural beauty. It's often referred to as the forest city due to how much the surrounding forest encroaches on the urban environment. Sadly, this forest doesn't do much to abate the problem of urban crime. There are 15 crimes committed annually per 1,000 people in Rockford, and there's a 1 in 66, or just over 1% chance, of becoming the victim of one yourself. This is another touristy city with a whole lot of theft. St. Louis, Missouri St. Louis is one of Missouri's flagship cities and another major city that doesn't paint its state in the best light. For all the history and culture that can be found there, it's a city with just as much crime. There are 14.9 crimes committed in the city annually per 1,000 people. Tying with the aforementioned Rockford, there's a 1 in 66 chance of being the victim of one while visiting. St. Louis is a city with a particularly large homeless population and rampant drug problems. At the end of 2022, St. Louis had the most murders of any American city, even if it isn't the most dangerous city overall. Albuquerque, New Mexico Finally, let's look at Albuquerque, New Mexico. Albuquerque isn't typically thought of as a dangerous city, but it is. There are 13.9 crimes committed per 1,000 people annually and a 1 in 71 chance of being the victim of one while you're visiting. This equates to just around 1%. Besides crime, Albuquerque is known for its rich heritage and beautiful environment. Tragically, these are liable to be overshadowed completely by crime in time. Now it's time to hear from you. Which city was most surprising to find on this list? Let us know in the comments section below.